You know me as the cynical and jaded type that hates everything, so it was a surprise for me as well exactly how much I like the MSI Pro Z790A. And now they finally release a refresh of it, the MSI Pro Z790A Max. And if it taught me anything, it's well... I need to be even more cynical. Starting off with the CPU power, here we have 16 plus 1 plus 1 power phases rated at a maximum of 80 amps. In comparison to the 16 plus 1 plus 1 power phases rated at a maximum of 80 amps of its predecessor. Huh. Wait a minute! Yes, the VRM situation is completely identical this time around, even down to the 2 full 8 pins for CPU power. But that's not technically a bad thing, because at this price range, it's still a very robust power delivery system. Not only that, but despite all of that being the same, thanks to some under the hood changes, the maximum overclock speed for DDR5 memory has been increased to 7800 MHz. And yes, this motherboard is only available with DDR5, so well, uh, you win some, you lose some. Okay, so maybe there's something a bit more groundbreaking with the PCIe expansion, and nope, it's exactly the same with a primary PCIe Gen 5 slot, two additional physical 16x slots, which are actually PCIe Gen 4x4 and PCIe Gen 3x1, and a tiny little PCIe Gen 3 1x slot as well to round things out. So nothing new there, but that's more the fault of the limitations of the Z790 chipsets in general, and not just MSI being glazed. And the storage situation is also identical with 4 Gen 4 M.2 slots and 6 SATA connectors. However, one thing I've noticed that MSI haven't done here, they've done with other Z790 refresh boards and what other companies have done as well, is including a PC Gen 5 M.2 slot, which has the side effect of reducing your graphics card bandwidth to just 8 lanes. So thankfully here you don't have this compromise because, well, there's no PC Gen 5 storage in the first place. Finally, there's the rear I.O., which, yep, you guessed it, is also pretty much identical. Though still pretty decent with 7 USB Type-A ports, out of which only 2 of them are USB Gen 2, a 20 gig per second USB Type-C port, both integrated HDMI and DisplayPort, 2.5 gig Ethernet, and oh, okay, finally something new, Wi-Fi 7. That's a nice touch, even if it's something that not many people use, because, you know, Ethernet's almost always superior. And finally, rounding out the rear I.O., we have the full array of audio options, powered by the ALC4080 codec. Though there's one more change I haven't mentioned, though probably I don't need to if you have a pair of functioning eyes. That is the fact that this one goes to a more white theme with its heat sinks, compared to the sleek minimalist and black aesthetic of the original Pro A. Now of course that can be either a pro or a con, depending on what overall theming you're going for for your build, but hey, if you're looking for a pretty decent semi-white motherboard, then this is something you can consider. However, there's still one big caveat to all of this. That being the rather high price for this motherboard, and right now it will cost you over $60 more than the original Z790 Pro A. So if those white heat sinks and Wi-Fi 7 are worth that much to you, then sure, go ahead. Our links to this motherboard are gonna be down in the video description below and also up in the iCards. But if you really don't care that much, just buy the original and save some money and spend those $60 on, I don't know, one AAA game or two actually good games, or alcohol to fill the void in your life, or whatever else that really flows to both really, but probably the best investment you can do with that money is to support us on Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, and Lavroniak, Polish Volker, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Sheen Allcroft, Lensby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.